I only get one question. Hi, it's Paul Campbell. I'm here with Robin Davis, uh, author of our new book, Recipe for Joy. And as usual, I'm allowed one question. So, mm. Robin, chefs, foodies, mm -hmm. talk about soul food. Catholics talk about the Eucharist as the pure spiritual food. What foods do you cook that are spiritual? Probably the ones I cook the most that have a spiritual side to them are the true comfort foods, the things that are going to give comfort and joy to the people I'm cooking for. So that could be bread, obviously, that's a very obvious one, but I think chicken noodle soup mm -hmm. for someone who's ailing, someone who's sick or a little bit heartbroken maybe can be terrific. Um, spaghetti and meatballs can be great. My kids love spaghetti and meatballs. It's one of the things they ask for when they come home. Um, ben, my son, always asks for chili, which sounds very funny, right? Spicy, but for him, that tastes like home. So I think anything that you make with love is really a spiritual food and a comfort food. And a, a prayerful expression of your love for your family. Yes, exactly. Anytime I'm cooking for my family or for anyone else, it's the love that I'm putting into it. When I looked at going into cooking school and I thought about becoming a chef, I loved the idea, but I didn't like the idea of not being able to see the people eat the food. Mm. Seeing everyone eat the food, being able to share that joy with them, that to me is really the best part. What a great answer. Thank you, Robin. You're welcome.